A warning from Chicago police about a string of car thefts. Chicago police are telling residents in the Douglas neighborhood to be on high alert after 13 cars were broken into. CBS 2 Sharday Gray spoke to residents about the concern. Broken on this side. Vince Reeves has lived at the Dearborn home apartments for six years, and this is the first time his vehicle was vandalized. And it cost me six hundred dollars to have a, a, a side window replaced. And I had, had to go through the insurance. It was. $500 deductible plus the $100 to, to install the window. His SUV was broken in April, but in the month of August, Chicago police are investigating 13 cars that were broken into, specifically just outside the Dearborn Homes apartments. Now the vandalism is, is, is ridiculous, you know, and I don't know what they'd be looking for. I'm um, because I don't leave no valuables in my car, and I'm sure anybody with good sense won't leave any valuables in their car. Chicago police say between August 3rd and August 31st, nine cars were broken into right here on State Street, three on Federal and one on 30th. Police say those break-ins happened between all hours of the day. Both times that I've seen, um, you know, these young men do that, it's bright daylight. This resident, who didn't want to be named, says she's seen break-ins after she dropped her kids off at school. So what time is that? Like 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. So they're not worried about who is watching. Chicago police are asking residents to be aware of their surroundings. Don't leave your vehicle unlocked. Install an anti-theft system in their car and park in a well-lit area. I live on the front side of the building. I park where I can see my car. You know, uh, that's, that's about the only thing that, that I can do. If I come home early enough, I park close enough. And after certain hours, we have to park down this way. The Chicago Housing Authority, which manages the Dearborn Homes, says it's aware of the crimes and working with police. Reporting in Douglas, Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News.